Your company is looking into Microsoft Teams phone system. Well, very common these days, I get a lot of folks reaching out to me about Microsoft Teams phone system, especially a lot of companies got used to Teams during the pandemic and they kind of want to add phone system to that. And that's totally normal. It's happening a lot these days. Well, a big thing that comes along with that is what do we do for desk phones or handsets or phones, whatever you want to call them? What do we do for the hardware for the phones? You know, there's obviously a lot of folks are going to be using the soft phone, the Teams app, and then a lot of folks are going to be using the, the actual, the mobile app, you know, the, the mobile application on their mobile phone for Teams. That's great. But there's still usually a lot of people within the company who want a desk phone. Well, what desk phone should you be purchasing? Should you get one of those fancy Microsoft Teams phones? They're pretty expensive, but they're pretty cool. Or should you just use one of the Polycom phones or Yaling phones that are just normal IP PBX phones that make and receive calls? Great question, and I want to address that in this video. But before I get too deep into it, just a quick plug. If you want my recommendation on the best direct routing as a service providers to quote for Microsoft Teams phone system for your dial tone, or maybe operator connect providers to quote, don't research it on the internet. You'll probably end up with the wrong companies. You definitely don't want to use Microsoft direct for the dial tone. That's not as good in terms of support and installation help, things like that. Especially if you're a medium-sized company, there's a lot of options out there. So if you're a medium-sized company, you wanna know which vendors to quote, reach out, contact me, more information on that at the end of the video. Also, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, so if your company is looking into Microsoft Teams phone system, you wanna know which phones, which handsets you should be looking at and what are the differences? Well, if you have a couple different options. The first option is you could just use like a Polycom phone, like a Polycom VVX model phone or a Yealink phone that isn't a, necessarily a Microsoft Teams phone. And a lot of those phones will actually work with Microsoft Teams. You can make and receive calls on those phones, which is nice. Like you don't have to get the big fancy phone. You can just get a normal phone and it costs a lot less. I mean, those phones are usually about 100 to $150 per phone, and some service providers are giving them out for free, which is nice, as opposed to the Teams phones are more like $250 or something like that, so they're a lot more expensive. So it's great, you can just get those phones, but the one caveat to that is that it'll only make and receive outside phone calls. So if you want to make an outside phone call, it's great. You can just pick up the phone and dial. It'll work through your Microsoft Teams phone system features. And if an incoming call is coming into you from outside of your organization, the phone will ring. You can pick it up, answer the phone. That works great. But the one thing it won't do are some of the Teams specific features. And the biggest one with that, to me, is Teams to Teams calls. That handset is not going to ring if somebody makes a Teams to Teams call to you. Your desktop Teams app is gonna ring or your mobile app Teams is gonna ring, but your desk phone is not gonna ring if you're just using one of those Polycom VVX phones or just a normal Yealink phone or normal IP phone. It's not gonna ring for that, which makes sense because a Teams to Teams call is really a software thing within Microsoft Teams. And in order for that to ring your desk phone, you have to have one of those fancy Microsoft Teams phones. So that would be the reason why you'd maybe want to get the Microsoft Teams phone and pay more money if your company is doing a lot of Teams to Teams calling and you want the desk phone to ring. Also with that Microsoft Teams desk phone, there's also a lot of other features in there too. It, re it really emulates the Teams soft phone. So if you think about it, it's like, okay, well, at what point do maybe you just want to tell your users, hey, just use a soft phone. We're not going to buy the desk phones because it's really expensive and it's just really emulating what you have on the soft phone already. But if it's a big time executive, they kind of get what they want. So if they want a desk phone, they get a desk phone, but you may want to get them the fancy Teams phone if they're going to be getting a lot of Teams to Teams calls because that's something you're going to hear from them is, hey, I'm getting Teams to Teams calls and my phone's not ringing on my desk. So I hope that helps a little bit. If so, don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. And again, if you want my recommendation 
on the best dial tone providers that you should be quoting for Microsoft Teams phone system, don't get it through Microsoft Direct, either get it through a direct routing as a service provider or an operator connect provider. Well, which ones should you quote for that? Contact me, shoot me an email, give me a call, I'm happy to help. I'll ask you a few questions. Based on your company's requirements, there's definitely a small handful of vendors that you wanna quote specifically for your mid-size organization. And I'm happy to give you those recommendations. And I'll also introduce you to the right people within those companies and oversee the quoting process to make sure that you get the best pricing possible with the vendor of your choice. And the nice thing is, is all of those companies pay me my broker fee, so you don't have to pay me anything. So there's no excuse not to at least reach out to me and ask me my opinion. All right, well, I'll catch you on the next video and don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel.